Here's how to create your digital world. First, give it a background. Click background, choose image. In the text box, type in the background that you want. Search your results, click on the one you want, and hit insert. Sometimes it takes a second. Click done. Now, insert images. Go to insert image, search the web. You'll get a search box on the right. I like cats, I'm gonna type in cat. This is my cat world. So I get lots of pictures, but look what happens when we pick one. So here's a cutie, I'm gonna click it, click insert. Ooh, do you see how it comes with a rectangle background? We don't want that kind of image. Delete that, let's try again. Insert image, search the web, but now I want a special type of file. I want a PNG image file. That kind of file, PNG, usually comes without a background. Watch what happens when I pick this one. See, no background, it's just the cat. That's the kind of image that you want. Move them around, resize them. That's one of the skills you need to show us, but resize them by dragging the corner box, not the top, not the side, but the corner. Second thing you need to show us is copy and paste. There's some shortcuts. You can click with two fingers and get that pop-up menu, click copy, click paste. There's keyboard shortcuts too, command C and command V. Now keep adding images. Remember, only use PNG images. Let's find another cute kitty. Ooh, flying cat, looks good. All right, no rectangle background. Now show us that you can tilt images. So that circle at the top, Click it and drag it and it'll tilt the whole image so you can make them going in different directions. And again, resize it by clicking the corner box and dragging it. Two finger click to copy, two finger click to paste. Lots and lots of cats. So this is my squadron of attack cats. Apparently there's a battle going on in the sky for cat domination. Keep going, let's get some more cats. Sometimes you get a PNG image that's cut off so it doesn't show like the whole thing. So make sure that you arrange it on the page where it's gonna make sense. So don't put something that's cut off like right in the middle. Sometimes, even when you search for a PNG image, Sometimes you get ones that come with a rectangle background. You can't use them. Oh, can't use that one. Let's try another one. That one's cute. Oh, three strikes. And remember, only use PNG images that don't come with a rectangle background. So. The next skill we want you to show us is that you can flip things. So move them, arrange them, resize them, only drag the corner box. But to flip something, so it's facing the other way, do a two finger click, click on rotate, and then choose flip horizontally or vertically. Now it's facing the other way. The last skill we want you to show us is arranging the order of the layers. Okay, so each time you put an image on, it makes another layer. So if you want something to come to the front, click on the image, go to order, bring to front. That'll make it come in front of your other images. This can get tricky as you have lots of overlapping things. You can order and send things to the back or send them backward one layer. It gets a little tricky, but arrange the order. That's the last skill we want you to show us. Have fun creating your world. Go Cats!